In Space Marine 2, it does give hints and tips for its controls at the start of the game, but this guide is for those who have not yet started to play. The game also doesn't tell you that you can remap or switch your control types. So today we're going to go through all of the controls that you're going to need. Prompts for the PlayStation will be on the left, Xbox in the middle, with PC being on the right. Also note that these are the default controls, but they can be changed in the game settings. To start off with then, on PlayStation or an Xbox, you'll be using the left stick in any direction to move around. Clicking the stick in with a direction or holding it in will toggle your sprint, but this does depend on your settings. PC users will be using WASD, with the left shift being their sprint toggle. Again, this can be held down or set as a click to toggle. To move the camera, it's the right stick in any direction on consoles, while PC users just have to move the mouse. In Space Marine 2, there are many ways to attack. To fire your weapon, it's R2 on the PlayStation, right trigger on the Xbox, and the left mouse click on the PC. For a melee attack, it's R1 or the right bumper, depending on your console or controller, while it's the right mouse click for PC users. You can lock to a target by pressing the right stick in or by pressing X on the keyboard. The same key binding for consoles will execute a finisher, also known as an execution, but to do these with a mouse and keyboard, you'll be pressing the E key. If using a weapon, you can zoom it in. If not, you can change to a heavy stance by using L2 on PlayStation, left trigger on the Xbox, or by using the scroll wheel on PC. You can reload by pressing square on the PlayStation, X on the Xbox, or R on the PC keyboard. And you can switch weapons at any time using down on the D-pad if playing on a console, with V switching your weapon for PC players. Space Marine features several abilities and to use these you'll be using triangle or Y if you're on console, with Q being used for the PC. With the use of equipment also being mapped to circle or B for you PlayStation or Xbox players and G for the PC. To defend against oncoming attacks, you can parry or use shield block by pressing L1 or LB. PC players will be pressing C on their keyboard. To dodge attacks, PC players will be using the spacebar while PlayStation users will press X. So that's A for you Xbox players. To use medi stims to heal yourself, it's D-pad right when using controllers or F for the PC. To view the current objective or the scoreboard, it's view on the Xbox, touchpad on the PlayStation and tab on the PC. To use the marking tool, social wheel or to focus attention, it's D-pad up or T on the keyboard. And to interact with things, it's Square on the PlayStation, X on the Xbox, and E on the PC. So that's it for all of the basic controls for Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. However, there are a few more PC-only controls, and these are on your screen now. O opens up the text chat, Z is for the voice chat, while the number 1 is mapped by default to your secondary weapon, and the number two is assigned to your primary. PC players can also press right control to zoom in or alternative fire. And to zoom out, it's a click of the scroll wheel. This button can also be used as an alternative fire. Melee combos can be used to enhance your attacks and there are several combinations that can be executed. Some examples of combos are on your screen now. If you're a PC player, you can remap any of these controls by going into the settings menu, selecting controls and clicking on the one you want to change, and then just simply press the new key to map to that action. 
Console players can't necessarily remap, however, they do have the control type that's been shown in this video, plus six others to choose from. Now there are small differences between each of these control types, and you can find them by going to Settings, Controls, and then Controller Layouts. Those other control types are on your screen now, and what I would do is have a play around with them and find which one that works best for you and your playstyle. If you want, you can also change the aiming type and sprint activation from a hold to a toggle, as well as changing the triggers and bumpers for Xbox players, or L1, R1, L2, R2 PlayStation users, to the opposite sides or flipped with each other. So that was just a very simple guide on the controls of Warhammer Space Marine 2. Drop me a comment if this was useful to you and let me know if you want to see more content from this game in future videos.